Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the week that we're here in Chelsea, staying at the, where are we staying? We're at the, uh, <laughs> cheers. So you get to go again. Say the, the thing Yeah, again. see the thing, you look at the green dot. Okay. We are standing in front of the Purple Rose Theater. Need a toy, take a toy, have a toy, leave a toy. We're in very, very early autumn. In fact, it's not even officially autumn yet, but we're just starting to see a tinge of colors in the trees. of the road for 2.5 miles. We're at Michigan's Waterloo Recreation Area at the Sugarloaf Campground, just outside of Chelsea, Michigan. And this has been an amazing campground for us to stay at. The sites are huge and it's very scenic. We're in very, very early autumn. In fact, it's not even officially autumn yet, but we're just starting to see a tinge of colors in the trees. Behind us is the Purple Rose Theater. It was started by Jeff Daniels, who is from Chelsea, Michigan. And still lives here, I believe. And unfortunately, there's no play running here this week. We're staying at the Waterloo State Recreation Area at the Sugarloaf Lake Campground. And this is actually the first week of school. So most of the activities and things like this are actually shut down for that first week of school. Plus benefit though, the campground is quite empty. And the restaurants. <laughs> and the restaurants are not that full either. We just came from a phenomenal meal at the Common Grill. And the Purple Rose is known for featuring small upcoming playwrights from the state of Michigan. Behind me is the campground's tiny house that you can rent. It has a ramp, so it's fully handicap accessible. They say it sleeps up to 10. You can choose to believe that or not by looking at the inside. And coincidentally, the tiny house is right next to our campsite.
Sugarloaf Lake Campground is located in the Waterloo Recreation Area near Chelsea, Michigan. Chelsea is a vibrant yet quaint town midway between Ann Arbor and Jackson, Michigan. Located on the shores of Sugarloaf Lake, this Michigan State Park has 164 modern campsites, many with 50 amp service. There is a swimming beach, a boat launch, a modern playground, a sanitation station, and an excellent bathhouse. I should note that in DNR terms, a campground designated as modern means the campsites have electric hookup and the bathhouse has flush toilets. Most Michigan campgrounds do not offer water spigots at the campsites, so be sure to top off your freshwater tank in the sanitation station before setting up your camp. I got your brakes adjusted. I adjusted the, um, how tight they are too. So you got a lot more play in the handle now. Oh, that'd be a nice ride. Oh yeah. Up the hill especially. <laughs> They do have a nice swim and beach area here at the campground that again, it's a little cool today to be out swimming, but uh, very, very nice for the people staying here. Need a toy, take a toy, have a toy, leave a toy. Oh, I got an idea. Which side? The most down. I found a shovel to dig it. They also have rowboats and canoes for rent. And I see there's even a kayak here. And for the kids, there's this great playground area right next to the beach in the water and also with that rubber composite base right down here to help keep the little ones safe. The bathhouse is very conveniently located in this loop and has nice showers that can easily hold one or two people if you're so inclined and then the restroom areas are very clean and neat and again, very typical of a Michigan State campground. Our campsite is site 58 and has full view of the water and is a pretty typical Michigan State campground campsite with kind of sand along in here um, because of it's well-worn and pretty much all the state of Michigan, the base ground is sand, so this is pretty common. It has the typical fire ring found in most Michigan State Parks. This very nice fire ring with the cement um, right there. And we've actually had a couple very nice fires while we've been here. And in fact, one was the ceremonial burning of the last paperwork of the home mortgage and other documents from our house that we sold two years ago. It's been rainy almost all the time we're here, and we've been very thankful to be nestled in under the trees. We were blessed with a family visit during our stay at Sugarloaf Lake. My mom, sister Leah, and my cousin Sarah, and her husband Kelly spent time with us at Sugarloaf. 
living on the road makes family visits like this one even more special. Hey, babe, come here often? Okay. So 